What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, Sonoma Creek Outdoors, we are based in Northern California. We do tons of fishing here locally, a little bit of hunting too. We got some other videos, so if you haven't watched them, check them out. We're excited to be back. It has been a while since we made a video. Our last video was probably November, Bullard's Bar. If you haven't watched that, check that out. We catch a nice big spotted bass on a glide bait. So, we're excited to be back. We've been busy working, COVID, this, that. You guys already know, but we're gonna be making videos. We've got tons of stuff coming up. It's getting to that time of year where everything gets good. Bass fishing gets good, halibut gets good. Kinda sucks that they're shutting down salmon season, but we're gonna be making videos a lot more than we have in the past. So for our subscribers that have been watching us, thank you. For anybody new to the channel, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, so today, we go sturgeon fishing in the Napa River. We take my bass boat, because Devin's boat is down. Actually, both of Devin's boats were down, so we had to take my bass boat sturgeon fishing. Wasn't really ideal setup. We weren't really gonna film. We brought the GoPros along with us, and we got into a good one. So I'm excited for you guys to see this video. It's gonna be a little bit more of a reaction. I'm gonna sit here along with you guys and watch it with you. So let's roll that intro and get into the video. little sneak peek of the sturgeon there. We're gonna go ahead and roll the full clip here in just a second, but man, after watching that intro, had me pumped, made me wanna get back out there and get on some fish, so let's roll that clip. It's kind of funny, Devin's taking a chew right here. It might be the good luck charm of taking a chew, I don't know. You see, you can see he's laughing, we're just probably chopping it up, saying something stupid to each other. But watch my rod tip here, guys. I don't know, you did get bit, dude. It's funny too, Devin goes, why is there any fish, man? Right there, one little bite, if you guys saw the rod tip there. It's so subtle when this happens. It's just gonna be a nice little lean down on your rod and then maybe you, you might get another lean down again. My advice to anyone that's out there, as soon as you get that first bite, you guys should set. Because these fish have a huge sucker mouth where they're gonna suck the bait in and they're gonna suck it back out and suck it back in and, and suck it back out. Blow it out. This reel was a brand new reel for me. It's an Avid reel, no level wind. And to be honest with you, I didn't know how to set the drag on this thing. It's super crucial that you guys set it correctly. I didn't set it correctly and I had a hard time fighting the fish because of it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it after we roll this whole clip. Gosh, look at that, that fish is just dogging me. Do you see those head shakes? Two times there, that fish almost came off. It came coming right at me. So you gotta make sure you guys get, keep tension on that rod the whole time. I mean, these fish fight hard. If you guys haven't caught them before, you gotta be ready for a lengthy fight, 10 plus minutes at least. I think right here I'm laughing, saying my biceps burning, it probably was. What we did here too um, is we dropped the anchor and then uh, had Jake, Devin's brother, jump on the front of the boat on the trolling motor and kind of just kept us right in the channel. Made it really easy to fight the fish. Sometimes these fish will go swim and run under the anchor. Sometimes they'll run under the back of the motor. I think the fish does here if I, I didn't already miss it. I believe I already missed it. So what happened with this fish, guys, is in the very beginning, 
if you saw me burn in that reel and burn in that reel, these fish will roll. And this fish ended up rolling. When you see it come here to the surface, right here, you can see its tail come up and the fish is coming out of the water completely sideways. Yeah. And, and Jake's telling me, he's, I'm saying he's wrapped, dude. He's like, yeah, I can tell he's wrapped. There it is, that was the whole fight, probably about 12, 15 minutes or so. And if you guys are new to this, be ready, because sometimes these fish will fight for 40 minutes. It's happened to me before. Um, per fishing game rules, you're not allowed to take fish out of the water that are over 68 inches, I believe. You guys should double check the laws, don't listen to what I'm saying, but I believe it's 68 inches, you're not allowed to pull them out of the water. This fish was clearly over that size, but it was so wrapped in the line, we were trying to untangle it, and we couldn't get it untangled, and I didn't want to just cut the line because the fish was bleeding. You, I'm gonna pop up a picture right here and y'all can see, but the line was completely wrapped around the fish. You can see it around the fin, the fish was bleeding. So we got her unwrapped, gave her a good release. She swam off nice, let's roll that clip. All right guys, we're gonna get this sturgeon released. It's definitely an oversize. She's good. She gone. Right on. <laughs> Man, that was a big old fish ton of fun to catch that fish. Glad we got the release on it, got her unhooked there. You know, hopefully we don't get kicked in the ass by fishing game on this one. But we had to do what we had to do to release the fish correctly and not kill it. So, I want to talk about the reel setup because I got really lucky that I even caught this thing with how poor I set up the reel. I'm a bass guy, so don't hate on me. So we're gonna talk about that right now. So, come on, focus in here, there we go. So, on this reel, to me, I would think that that is a spool tension knob like it would be on a bass reel. It's not, it's actually for the drag. So the way that you set this thing is you have a lever drag here, this is completely open, this is completely locked. What you have to do is you have to adjust this knob here. See if I go like this and go to full lock drag, there's, there's, there's no tension. That line is coming out of that spool like nobody's business. So what you need to do is you gotta open that and then you have to adjust this tension knob to wherever you think it needs to be set. Lock your reel. And now, should be locked. I can't pull that out at all. So if there's a happy medium, you can adjust this, loosen this up, tighten it back up, and you have to feel it out and get your drag set correctly the first time. I did not have it set right. I'm lucky that I caught that fish. Also, after we caught that fish, we decided to talk a little bit about the tackle and how we set everything up. Devin did that whole thing, so we're gonna roll that clip. Okay guys, I'm gonna go over the rigs we're using for today. So we're gonna start off with the rod. Right here we got the Akuma Delta Bay Elite Series. They're a seven foot, 1530 weight. Over to the Avit, it's the MX Series. We're all running the same exact reel, same exact rod. We have 65 pound suffix braid on there. It's the blue camo. So we're going down here, we got our slider, and right now with the current we're running an eight ounce weight. These torpedo, these torpedo weights seem to stick in the mud the best, that's at least our opinion. We've tried the pyramids, we've tried every weight there pretty much is, and these have done the best for us. Then we're going down to a hundred pound barrel swivel, to a Bud's Dacron leader with the barbless hook, I believe it's um, size eight. And yeah, that's pretty much all the rigs we're using. And then all the bait we get is from Bodega Tackle. They have the best live bait around. So make sure if you're in the area, stop by, grab yourself some good ghost shrimp, and you'll be good to go to catch these dinosaurs. There it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We're really stoked to make future videos. If you guys have any suggestions for us, please let us know in the comments. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a like or a comment. And if you're feeling generous, please subscribe to the channel. We're looking forward to seeing you next time. Other than that, I'm out.